So we have just arrived in Marrakesh and already the contrast between here and the coast is insane. It's so much more chaotic. She, she even put her fingers in my ear. <laughs> okay, so we've made it to the place we were looking for. Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. We are Hannah and Johnny, also known as Finding Our Adventure. In 2020, we converted our Ford Transit to live in full time. Since then, we've been on an endless adventure with our two cats, Tia and Skye, exploring, living and working in our tiny home. Join us each week for a new episode of Finding Our Adventure. Good morning everybody. So we have just arrived at Agadir bus station because we're going to be catching the bus to Mar Marrakesh. I was going to say Morocco then, <laughs> to Marrakesh. And so it's a three hour bus ride. We've just got our bags underneath and we had to pay nine dirhams extra for our big bags. And then we've got our backpacks as well. So yeah, the bus is just waiting for us. And I think it's leaving in about 20 minutes. So we have just arrived in Marrakesh and already the contrast between here and the coast is insane. It's so much more chaotic and we're just looking for our hotel now. We've got a three hour bus and a taxi into the Medina, which is the old city. So yeah, we're just walking around the streets now to find our Riyadh where we're staying tonight. We've just checked into our hotel, which is called Demia Doriant. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And we are basically staying in a Riyadh, which is a traditional Moroccan home. And it is absolutely beautiful. There's loads of traditional features all around the hotel and also in our room, which I am going to give you a very quick tour of right now. As you walk into our room, we have some seats just here and then we've got a fireplace in the corner which looks very fancy. And then we have a massive bed here with some lovely flower petals all over it. And then I'm gonna show you into the bathroom, which is just through this archway here. We have this huge bathroom in here, which is very beautiful. And there's so many lovely decorations in here. We've got these gorgeous blue tiles all over the floor. And then they find their way all the way up onto the sink as well. And we have got a beautiful bath here with lovely archways and a lovely big lantern above it. And one of the touches that we really like in here is the candles that have been lit and all the petals around it, which is really nice. And just through here, we've got a hand painted wardrobe, which is where we put all of our stuff. And we've also got a mini fridge, I think, as well. So it's very nice. And there's a toilet just through here. So I hope you enjoyed that very quick tour of our room that we're staying in and we're now going to show you around the hotel because I think there's a rooftop and we want to go see what the view's like. We've made it to the roof terrace and it's a beautiful day here in Marrakesh. You can hear the birds singing and it's a really nice space. There's some nice sun lounges and a few places just to sit and chill. Yeah, just very, very nice. They've even got a table with hats on, just so you don't get burned. <laughs> They've even got their very own outdoor shower. Very fancy. And I guess it's so you can cool down in the heat. At the moment it's hitting 20s, so I don't think it's hot enough for an outdoor shower, but 
I guess in the summer here when it hits like 30s, 40s, that'd be really nice. It looks like it's got hot and cold though, so you could have a oh hot yeah. outdoor shower. A hot shower, just outside. One thing I absolutely love is plants, and when I get to places where there's just like loads of plants, it's just so nice. It's a plant heaven. Got cacti and palm trees everywhere. Welcome to my bar, would you like a drink? <laughs> we've just taken some photos downstairs and we've now got some massages booked in. We've just got back from our massage which was really good but like a lot of places outside Europe when it's a full body massage it really means a full body massage I don't know about you but um, she, full even, body. she even put her fingers in my ear which was a first for me and also eyelids oh yeah that was really good like yeah. she did like this um, she was like pushing up like this and that felt really nice mm -hmm. and did she do like the um, metal yes oh, oh that wow. was really good yeah you know the things you can get I don't know where they're from but when they like go like this like oh, it's like a little metal yeah. thing that goes like this on your head that felt really good it was very like I felt like tingles like oh yeah. <laughs> for obvious reasons we didn't film very much because um, Hannah was pretty much naked the whole time yeah and I didn't film you because you're pretty much naked the whole time well also she turned <laughs> she turned the lights off so it was pitch black in there um, so you couldn't really see anything anyway so no, we just but you a... wouldn't want to see that so yeah so we left we that out describe it to you yeah and I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go um, get dinner but we're going to leave the cameras here for tonight our first night in Marrakesh and just go enjoy dinner and we'll pick it up with you guys in the morning Good morning everybody. We got to bed very late last night. It was 1am 1 1 in the morning by the time we got back to bed. We actually went out for dinner, which was really nice. We found a really nice rooftop restaurant, which was perfect, overlooking the city. And then we came back and the staff helped us light candles all the way down the pool and everything. So we were getting photos in the pool. It was really cool. And we've met another couple that are here filming as well. So it was really fun just to chat to them. And so by the time we got to bed, we were very tired and we we're actually up quite late uh, uh, um, late this morning. It's almost 11 a.m. now, so we'll go quickly pop down for breakfast before that finishes. And then we're going to see what the rest of the day holds. We've just come down for breakfast and we're sat by the pool. And we can hear all the birds and we just saw a cat walking across the roof, which was really funny. And we've got loads. We've got strawberries, yogurt, eggs, fresh juice, bread. Um, looks like some of the Moroccan sweet treats, pancakes, jam, honey, butter. Yeah, loads. And we've got hot chocolate coming as well. It looks very good. Okay, so we had a delicious breakfast and we've just come out the front door of the Riyadh into the streets and as soon as we get around these next couple of corners we are in the chaos of Marrakesh um, <laughs> Old City which is awesome, it's so much fun. So we're going to go explore this morning and going to go look for the souks and have a little wander around yep. and just um, see what we can find. <laughs> so welcome brother in Morocco in Marrakech city, enjoy and take your care about yourself. And welcome everyone to say my supper here. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice time in Morocco. Thank you. Take care. Welcome, take care about yourself. <laughs> Okay, so we are currently in the main square of Marrakesh. We've been walking around the souks all morning. It's been so much fun. And we've just come to the main square. We've seen loads of like cobras and snakes and snake charmers and even monkeys. Yeah. And unfortunately, it's, it seems really cool because like the boxes for the monkeys are really small. And it's not the hottest day, but it's still warm today. And we can imagine them just sitting in there all day, just absolutely dying of the heat just for tourism. Yeah. So obviously, it's, it's... Trying to put the snakes around your neck yeah. as well, and you have to like run away. So it's obviously like really interesting seeing everything and obviously it's a very cultural thing but it's just something that we're not going to engage with really because obviously like it's just not fair on the animals but it's still really cool coming out and seeing everything. Yeah we're now walking around the fruit stalls, there's like fresh juices so you can get fresh orange juice and uh, just like loads of music, it's just very cool isn't it? Yep. Compared to when we were last here about 10, well, more than 10 years ago now, walking through the souk there definitely feels there's a lot more like high-end boutique shops every now and then which is really cool. And it definitely feels very different from when we were first here.
So we've just gone down one of the side streets because I'm like, I'm so exhausted from just thinking about where I got to go and all the, the um, motorbikes keep like going so close to where you are and like to each other. It's just like you're not used to thinking like, oh yeah, I just got to like keep walking or where to go. Like your brain's constantly thinking. So I feel really tired <laughs> and done loads of walking today. I don't know how many steps we've done and we've only been out for probably about an hour or something. Yeah, we've just gone down this street which is a little bit quieter a little bit more calm so yeah we'll maybe go find a little park or somewhere to sit for a little bit i think so we've just come out of um, a rug shop and uh, we were speaking to a really nice guy called Mohammed, and he was showing us around all of his rugs that he has. He's got how many rugs? He said he had 800,000 rugs and that is huge. Yeah. And he said he reckons he sells about 8,000 a year. Yeah, and it was basically a beautiful building, like it was an old palace. So he was giving us a nice little tour round, showing us all the rugs and of course trying to sell us some rugs, but we couldn't fit, <laughs> we wouldn't be able to fit any in the van. There were so many, we were like, we have to come back at some point. But, um, yeah, fun experience, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> We're almost back at the Riyadh now. We've had an epic day exploring the souks. It's been so much fun and it's given us so many ideas for future projects that we have that hopefully we'll be telling you about in the next few months. Yeah, we wanted to buy loads of rugs yeah. and like these really nice cushions and everything just is so pretty. Yeah, we've definitely got plans to come back in the future to fill a shipping container full of all the, <laughs> all the good stuff and, and send it back to to our, our future projects but yeah we'll just go head back to the Riyadh now chill for a little bit before getting some more energy to head back out in the evening okay so we've just left the Riyadh and we're on our way to find the cafe that we ate at last night we didn't take you there but it was so good we're gonna go back and also we went at night time so we're gonna now do it in the daytime and hopefully get a nice sunset as well so we are on the rooftop terrace and it's actually turned out to be a really nice afternoon looks like the sun's gonna drop in a minute and we've just ordered some fresh juices and some hummus so I'm really excited about that and we've got um, one of the mosques just behind us and it overlooks all of the rooftop terraces Okay, so our hummus and bread have arrived, and look how good it looks. So we basically went for exactly the same thing that we got last night, because it was so good. Um, so Hannah's got the kefta tagine, which is sizzling at the moment. It smells amazing. And I've gone for the chicken skewers. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. Crazy. Welcome to Marrakesh. Best food in Marrakesh. Yeah. Okay, we have just made it to the main square and all the juice vendors are out. Everybody's out in the square tonight. Everybody's rushing around. It's a little bit of a chilly wind tonight, so we're keeping warm by walking. <laughs> and we're just going to go explore everything, seeing what everyone's selling. And it's just really cool to be out this time of day. Yeah, it's come alive tonight. There's yeah. so many people out. It's really busy and uh, yeah, the sun's just set, so everything's <laughs> lighting up. Good morning everybody. We're up and early this morning for breakfast. We're having it on the roof terrace this morning. They've set it up for us just over there. And it's an absolutely clear blue sky day. So I think we're gonna get a really nice sunset this morning. Sunset, sunrise this morning. The birds are chirping, it's really quiet. Um, there's not many other people up yet. It's about half eight, I think. So yeah, really excited to see the sunrise. We can see the mountains as well just in the distance over here and there's a lovely kind of pinky hue just over there the sun's just rising on the other side so we're just setting up the camera this morning for some pictures for the hotel and we're going to enjoy a really nice breakfast outside okay so our breakfast has just arrived Johnny's all set up with our camera over here the sun is starting to glow just over the towers just behind me and look what we've got all of this goodness it looks so nice we've got a hot chocolate we've got yogurt oranges chocolate cake traditional kind of pancakes honey jams pancakes fresh orange juice eggs 
Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so we've just been taking loads of photos this morning with this beautiful setup for breakfast on the rooftop. The sun has now come over and it's lit everything up. It's been amazing. The, the sunrise here has been so beautiful. And um, Hannah's been borrowing one of the hats from the Riyadh for the photos as well. And she's also climbed on top of the turret over there for some really cool photos. But I think we're pretty hungry now, so we're going to tuck into breakfast. Okay, so we've had breakfast and we're on our way to the Ben Yusuf School, which is supposed to be one of the highlights of Marrakesh. Um, we've never been there before so we're going nice and early hopefully before lots of other tourists get there to get lots of nice photos and yeah we're just working our way through the streets now we've made it inside the school and it's so beautiful the tiles and all the columns are intricately de decorated all over and it's so beautiful it's really peaceful as well they've got like a water feature pool in the middle it's just so relaxing, there's loads to explore around here so we'll show you around all of it. So I'm pretty sure this Ben Yusuf school was built in the 16th century and it's so detailed, all the tiles, the colours, the fountain and the pool in the middle. It's just beautiful and the woodwork at the top over there is just incredible and the way the light's hitting it in the morning, it's so peaceful and calm and just feels really relaxing here and it's just like there's so many little corners to tuck away in and explore. I think we're just going to explore this courtyard for a little bit longer. We're taking some really nice photos as well. And then we're going to head into the other parts of the school to have a little wander around. So top tip, if you're coming here, get uh, get here early. We got here probably about 20 minutes, half an hour after it opened, and we basically had the whole place to ourselves. But now there's so many people here about an hour later, and um, everybody's fighting to get their photos. The main courtyard, which is a really beautiful part of the school, is packed full of people, so we just wouldn't be able to get the photos and the content that we've done now. So yeah, get here early if you're coming to visit, and it's absolutely worth it. And it's not that far from where we had dinner last night, and it was about 10 minutes from the hotel, so. It was a nice, quick and easy walk this morning and um, yeah, definitely would recommend it. So the construction of the school was finished in 1565 and apparently it was a school of science and students from all over the world attended and um, they used like Italian marble, cedar wood and it's just very beautiful. So yeah, we highly recommend coming and exploring here and also the um, shops around here are very beautiful as well. Bathing in the sun because it's been quite chilly this morning. Finally warming up. <laughs> My nose has been running all morning as well. We're in a carpet shop at the moment and uh, being shown lots of carpets. Johnny's in the back <laughs> just checking out. Look at all these carpets. There's so many. Don't know if we're going to decide on one, but we really like one at the moment. We're not sure. I'm trying to find one for the van, which is quite tricky. Yeah. You like that one, don't you? Mm, it's quite nice. So we decided not to get the rug, it was the, the starting price was £400 and um, yeah we weren't that interested in getting it, it was just really nice, we thought maybe for the van but we weren't going to spend all day haggling for it so we're heading back to the Riyadh now, we're going to chill there for a little bit before heading out later to get some lunch and going to explore further. <laughs> we are off on our way to find a sunset spot um, for tonight, we think we found a restaurant that's got a really cool like rooftop terrace that we can go have a drink at and then watch sunset and then we're going to head back to our room and we're going to ask if they can put the fire on for us tonight as well and it's actually our last night in Marrakesh tonight so that's pretty sad but we're going to go make the most of it yeah it's going to be, it looks like it's going to be an epic sunset yeah it's been a beautiful afternoon so we can't wait one thing that doesn't get old is coming out of the sanctuary of the Riyadh where it's peaceful it's quiet you can hear the sounds of the birds and it's just really calm and relaxing 
stepping out of the front door and suddenly being greeted by the chaos of the city with all the motorbikes flying past, all the people trying to sell you everything and just the noise and the smells. It's just, it doesn't get old, it's so exciting, it's so much fun. It's kind of addictive. <laughs> okay, so we've made it to the place we were looking for, just in time for sunset. It's literally just about to dip behind the buildings, and we have got a beautiful view overlooking all the markets down there. And yeah, we're going to order, I think, some drinks and maybe some bit of food as well. So we really wanted to come here because we had the views were epic, and they really are. We've got views of the Atlas Mountains over there behind us. We've got the sun setting behind us here, and we've got the hustle and bustle of the market down below, which is so cool. And yeah, we've just got some nice food coming, some nice drinks, and we're just going to sit here and enjoy the sunset. What drink did you get? Oh, I got a um, orange and turmeric and ginger. It's really yeah, good. It's really it's good juice. <laughs> yep. And Hannah got a is it green tea? Peppermint tea. Peppermint tea. Last night in the Riyadh, we've asked them to put the fire on, so we've got a fire burning over there, and Hannah's also running a bath. So I think we'll just have a super chill evening here in the Riyadh to make the most of it, and it's just gonna be so nice and atmospheric with the fire crackling in the corner, and yeah, just really nice. We've had a really nice meal out this evening. We've enjoyed walking around the souks again and experiencing the atmosphere and the culture, and I think we're just feeling pretty tired right now, so we're just gonna take it very easy this, morning, this evening, and then get up this mo tomorrow morning for breakfast and our last day in Marrakesh. Good morning everybody. It is our last morning here in the Riyadh in Marrakesh. We've had a lovely breakfast again this morning and yeah we're just making the most of the last few minutes. We're going to do some photos up here on the roof and down below before we leave. We've just taken some last photos of the room as well and we just checked out of our room which is really sad but yeah we're looking forward to making the last few moments. We're going to go to the souks in a bit and we've just booked our taxi to take us to the bus terminal at 3 p.m. so we can get the bus back to Agadir and then we've got one night in Agadir before we fly back to the UK. So I don't know if you can see behind me, but they have this big um, plastic roof on top of the Riyadh in winter and it keeps a lot of the heat in. So in the actual um, open area down below where the pool is, it feels really nice and warm all day with the sun warming up. And they said that when, as soon as the summer comes, they take that off and then the palm trees are allowed to like flourish and everything. And it's just open to all up to the um, air, but it's really cool. I mean, the difference of the heat from being on top of the roof when the sun sets to being down there in the Riyadh is amazing. So like we can literally be in shorts and t-shirt down there, whereas up on the roof it gets pretty chilly. So we're very almost finished doing the photo shoot that we need to do to take the photos of the products that we've got with us. And Hannah's just um, come up with a new pose that she's really proud of. And I think it looks really cool and it looks epic in the photos. So we're gonna give you a quick look quick. Are you ready? Three, so two, cringy. one, go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> Our next mission of the day after doing the photo shoot is to go find an ATM to get some cash out for our taxi later and the reception um, team said that there's one just around the corner so we're going to go have a quick look. So far we haven't been very successful, we've asked for directions two times already and they were saying there was one along this street but we can't seem to find it anywhere and then we just asked in a restaurant and he said there's one 15 minutes away so um, we're going to keep having a look and see if we can find an ATM. <laughs> Okay, so mission successful, we found an ATM. Four people asked later for directions and eventually we found it and it was really easy. And uh, yeah, so we've got some cash, we're gonna head to the souks now and see if we can find How something to get Hannah's parents as a gift for looking at a tear in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we found them a gift. Basically, my mom has a sheep collection of lots of fluffy sheep. So we found her a camel. So hopefully she can start a camel collection <laughs> and it says Morocco on it. But yeah, we didn't get anything else this time. Johnny was looking for a wallet, but in the end, you didn't really find I decided any. I decided I couldn't be bothered. No, so we're heading back to the hotel now. Gonna be catching the taxi and then getting the bus. We've just got back to the Riyadh after exploring the souks this morning. We've had such an epic time here in Ar Marrakesh. We've got about 30 minutes left before our taxi arrives to take us to the bus station to head to back to Agadir. And yeah, that's the end of our time here in Marrakesh. Thank you so much for watching. We've had such a great time. Uh, don't forget to give us a subscribe because it really does support the channel. And we'll see you next week for a new adventure.